you for joining me today for Reading Represents. My name is Miss Hannah. I'm with the Chesapeake Public Library and I am so glad you are joining us today. We are going to start by singing an intro song together so that everybody can feel welcome and ready to read and learn and play today. So we're going to use a few American Sign Language signs for some of the words in our song that we're going to sing together. So I'm going to teach you those signs first so that you can use them and follow along while we're singing the song. So the first sign I'm going to teach you today is read. So you hold one hand up like it's a book and you do this with the other hand. Take your fingers down the hand for the word read. And the next word that we're going to learn today is together. Take your two hands with thumbs up, put them together like this, do the motion, and that is the American sign for together. So we've got read and we've got together. We're gonna learn the sign for happy, which is this. You take your two hands, palm out, and you make a brushing motion on the front of yourself like this, happy. Okay, and then we're going to learn the sign for learn, which is very easy. Put your hand up like you have information in your hand and put that information in your head. Learn, learn, okay. The next sign we're going to learn is done. When we're done, we do that sign, done. All right, and finally, we're gonna learn the word for fun or play, which is this, which is a hard sign to do because it's hard to do that with your fingers, but practice it and see if you can use that sign for play or fun in our song today. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you the words to the song. We're gonna sing it once through fairly slowly so you can learn them and then we'll sing it faster together, okay? And I'm so glad you joined us, so here is our welcome song. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. All right. So the next part goes like this. We read things to learn things. We read things for fun. We read things together until we are done. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. All right, let's try doing that a little bit faster. And it goes like this. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. We'll read things to learn things, we'll read things for fun, we'll read things together and then we are done. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Great job! Thank you so much for singing with me. Best Day Ever by Marilyn Singer. Illustrated by Leah Nixon. Published by Clarion Books. This special dog is a canine companion and she loves helping out her friend. Wake up happy. Have a stretch. Then I sniff the air. Lick your face a bunch of times. Glad that we are a pair. Best day ever. After breakfast, time to dig. Got a special box. Find a bone, a tennis ball, and some dirty socks. Best day ever. There's a kitty in the yard, chase it up a tree. Let that cat know I'm the boss, till she chases me. Best day ever. Steal a frisbee from a pooch where we go to run. Eat a hot dog off a bench, but I leave the bun. Best day ever. Head up farther in the park, swim across the lake. Scare away some wiggly thing, heard it's called a snake. Best day ever! Race through puddles full of mud, 
Love the way they squish. Roll on something that smells great. It's a nice dead fish. Best day ever. Quickly jump on my best friend. He begins to yell. Down, girl, get off me. Huey, what's that smell? Not the best day ever. Look at those sad puppy eyes. Hate this tub, this kind of wet, and the taste of soap. Will this bath be over soon? Something tells me, nope, not the best day ever. Done at last, I give a shake, cause I'm feeling damp. Bump a table and, oh no, I knock down a lamp. Not the best day ever. Then my best friend hollers, now what did you do? Tuck my tail and slink away, feeling really blue. Worst day ever. Later on, he finds me curled up on a rug, snuggles close, pets my head, offers me a hug. Not the worst day ever. I'm sorry that I shouted. I know it wasn't cool. I think we need more lessons. We'll go to training school. Not the worst day ever. Nothing's broken. You smell nice. Everything's okay. Hurry, he says. Bring your ball. Let's go out and play. Best day ever. The end. Since we're talking about dogs this week, we need to make sure we talk about special dogs that are featured in some of the best picture books out there. I have three dog houses on my board, but I bet you can also see the paws of three dogs hiding behind those dog houses. And that's okay because I kind of want you to guess who those dogs are because you may have read about them in some of your favorite books. So behind this house, what color is it? It's purple, that's right. Behind this house, we have a dog hiding and he has a spot on the end of his tail. Can you think of a character in a book that's a puppy dog with a spot on the end of his tail? <gasps> Behind this purple house is Spot! That's right, and we have lots of books at the library about Spot. This one is called Spot Goes to the Park by Eric Hill, and if you haven't read it or any of the books about Spot, you should go check one out. All right, who's hiding behind this house? What color is it? It's green, and we have a puppy dog hiding behind our greenhouse who likes to say, woof, woof. Can you think of a puppy dog in some books that you've read who always says, woof, woof? <gasps> Let's see who it is. It's Biscuit. Have you read any books about Biscuit? Biscuit is one of my favorites, and we have lots of Biscuit books at the library. This one is called Biscuit and the Little Llamas by Alyssa Satin Cap Capacilli, and it is such a fun book to read. So there's Biscuit, and we can definitely enjoy books about Biscuit. Now finally, let's move our books over a little bit because this dog takes up a lot of room. Can you think of who this dog is? He's big and he's red and today he's hiding behind a red house. Can you think of a big red dog who's in books? Oh, let's see who it is. It's Clifford! Clifford the big red dog and he is one of my favorites to read about. This is Clifford when he's really small with his friend Emily Elizabeth in Clifford's Puppy Days by Norman Bridwell. So we've got books about Clifford at the library, books about Biscuit at the library, books about Spot at the library, and lots of other fun dog books that you should check out. Being 
a dog, a tale of mindfulness by Maria Gian Ferrari, illustrated by Pete Oswald, published by HarperCollins Children's Books. Move along with dog to be in the moment and have some fun. Can you be like a dog? Being like a dog is being right now, not before or after, just now. Stretch while you rise. Wag your body. Greet the day and everyone you love. Munch your food, lap your drink. Can you sniff like a dog? Breathe deep. Sniff, sniff, sniffing, sniff, sniff. Sniffing everything. Let's play like a dog. Invite your friends. Then romp, race, and chase. Tag and tug. Play every day. Rain or shine. Like a dog. Feel what you're feeling. Bark if you're worried. Growl if you're angry. Yowl if you're sad. Sing if you're happy. And if you're really happy, wag your whole body again and again. Be curious. Feel the emotion. Then let it go and be. Let the wind ruffle your fur. Nap in the sun or the shade. Wade and watch in the water. Tunnel and shovel in the sand. Hide and leap from the leaves. Whirl and roll and swirl in the snow. Take a taste, but not if it's yellow. Let's sleep like a dog. Notice the night. Feel the fatigue. Circle before you sleep. Drop and dream. Let's be like a dog right now. Take a mindful nature walk with a friend in all the seasons. Sniff like a dog, hear like a dog, be a dog. The end. Can you help me sing Bingo? The song Bingo was his name-o. Do you know how that goes? Well, I had brought my dog Bingo today and he's gonna help us sing. And I have the letters on the board so that we can remember which one to take away. We're gonna spell out B, I N G O. Bingo. And when we take away a letter, Bingo is going to bark. And you can either bark with him or you can clap your hands. It's up to you. All right, here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name. O now let's take away the letter B. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, arf, I-N-G-O, arf, I-N-G-O, arf, I-N-G-O, and bingo was his name. Oh, next to leave is the letter I. So now we're gonna bark twice or clap twice. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, arf, arf, N-G-O, arf, arf, N-G-O, arf, arf, N-G-O, and bingo was his name. Oh, the next letter to leave is the letter N, which means now we have the G and the O left. Are you ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, arf, 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 G-O, arf, arf, arf. G-O, arf, 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 G-O, and bingo was his name-o. Okay, goodbye to the letter G. The only one left is the letter O. 
There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, arf, 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 arf. 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 oh and bingo was his name. Oh, phew, that's a lot of singing. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today for Reading Represents. Let's sing a goodbye song together and I'll see you next time. Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. Can you wave your arms like this? Can you blow a little kiss? Mwah! Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. See you next time.